welcome back to Let's Play Agatha Christie's for Kill Perot, London Cases for Halloweeny Time, um, and spooky stuff. This is the Gaming Gaff. Thank you. Hello. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Anything helps and keeps me motivated to do these videos for everyone and helps keep me on track. Last time, um, Aylesworth faked he had a heart attack and then we went through his office and he almost shot us. So that's what you missed. On Glee. Detective Bottle. Yes. She is, but do you know where she, she's... She said something about dying. <laughs> For what? Forgive me. I, I'd like to help. I'm more than capable. And in that case, knock yourselves out. Well done. Where has this... We all have a hidden side. It's just our own choice of when... To show it. So, um... Don't tell me there is... I must concede that photography... Lucky I'm here, then. Next, for the fix... I have a newfound... Let's just wait until... Or, damn, there's a lot of stuff to it. It's there. Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Covered under the sink. I can't see shit in here. Have you found it yet? You are the photographic fixer. And how would... It smells like ammonia. Handy, I suppose. Huh. Already been over this poro. I have no intentions of the she didn't steal the bag. Okay, and then I wonder what the picture is gonna come out. It's probably like her naked or something. from hello
Monsieur Hastings, me. I'm in the middle of time. Oh. She left out that motherfucking window. Mr. Borrow, you are a genius. As you just yelled at me. The radio. Mr. Forum, you are a genius. Let's see. That would never have even occurred to me. Look, this photograph is just about finished. Is that? It appears. What has she got in her hand? The cigarette case that was taken from Mademoiselle Farquhar's luggage on our voyage here. It appears Mademoiselle Farqua had a much closer relationship with Mademoiselle Cotsmythe. I would say they cousins. Oui, Monsieur Hastings, I must thank you. For what? For saving me from whatever Monsieur Hastings. If it wasn't for me licking my wounds, you... And if you were, and not at the Cotsmythe estate, you are one of the most honest... You have never let yourself... No. Chapter 9, the mid denouement. Hell yeah, Detective Furco Ferro delivers his conclusion to the guests of the gala. Yes! Ah! I'd say we're just about done with this. With Hastings' help at the top smite, the circumstances around the murder need no. Mm, let's see. Distribution room. Wait, no. Florence pretended to be Irene. A moment of peace before one little book. I guess. Even after the truths of her, perhaps not. Florence, there you are. What are you? On this occasion, there is no time for pleasantries. We must return. Is everyone present? Please ask them to convene in the ex- Is there something you're all will be with? Monsieur et Madame, thank you for joining us here today. Until those motherfuckers can't escape. Wait, okay. That guy doesn't count in the back to the left. The Hastings, er, that motherfucker. Let's see. Doesn't count, doesn't count. There's only six people left? Is everyone else dead? What's this all about? Yes, my turn. I thought everyone was here to see the exhibition. <laughs> you dumb bitch. I'm all for looking at some real art. As long as it's... I understand the first... Hatred, love, Betty. <laughs> Even after everything, you stand here and... If... I'm not defending her. If anyone should hate her, perhaps you should move on. In this room is where it all began. We are all aware Mademoiselle Godsmythe was behind the painting's disappearance. But rather a well-orchestrated plan. All right, all right, we all know why we're here. Maybe at the detective inspector's request. That perhaps a pretty place to begin. It does get a good things work. You are all aware of the fa- The fire that she- That is not the difference between desire for the truth. Inside Mademoiselle's apartment was the penitent Madeleine painting. Or at least the fire was set purposely in an attempt. I have dedicated. Oh, that is said theft and embarrassment. He says you have permission. <laughs> like, okay. Why are we even? Has this got it? Mademoiselle Godsmythe's forgeries would be her. You have no proof, Poro, the penitent man. How could one forget? We have already discussed one of the multiple forgeries. Mademoiselle Godsmythe sold you a forgery that you believe to be real. One should not allow oneself the arrogance to consider themselves the smartest in the room. Oh. Especially when they have all. I am sure theft and in bed. Yeah, fuck you, horse. No. Congratulations. <laughs> what slim chance we had getting to heaven is that girl, shut your ass. I know things got out of hand. 
but it was you. Insurance fraud. There still remain one missing thought. The image of the honorable and distinguished gentleman. But they have discovered that the use of cocaine and of uh, uh, your heart attack became the perfect distraction while Mademoiselle Gottsmeid was able to slip into the exhibition room and remove the painting from the wall. Faking a heart attack is pretty low. Damn. Monsieur East wants the painting to be confirmed and Monsieur Aylesworth had bothered the detective inspector enough to he would get to keep the original and claim the insurance money. He was going to have I'm not going to... You stay right where you are. A stolen painting. Type all designed to raise his... I, I have never heard of myself. How am I meant to help those that really need it? Damn. I hope you're happy. I actually am quite happy, thank you. It all ends here. It all ends here. Girl, I'm not talking to you. I'm way over here. Borrow the penitent. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. All y'all are going to motherfucking jail, bitch. I know you have a flair for the dramatic. What job have you been fucking doing, sir? You know where the painting is. Hello? Uh, evidence tampering? Mademoiselle, what do you mean? Do you? No, I mean. On the contrary. Mademoiselle. I wouldn't kill her. You clean the key to the. You continue to do a relationship that. You think I don't know? I knew it had been her that took the key. Behind bars. Give it a rest, old man. She can't speak to me like that. Yes, she can. I'm Before about to. You continue riding your high horse, your grace. My actions. It is you that makes a mockery. Oh, and I'm sure. Oh, destroyed, motherfucker, destroyed. Deep down, I knew she never loved me. Oh, I'm so sorry, boo. This is all going to make for some. Girl. Deals were hatched, forgeries were created. She allowed for you all to see and. As much as I've enjoyed, you shall have to wait only a moment longer. Not only her aid in the museum, but in the construction. You were part of it. Taking us all for fool. I wonder how many other hiddens. <laughs> Girl. Hello? Haven't you caused enough? But we haven't gotten to you yet. I would say that 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 the famous act. Look here. When you overheard the conversation between your husband and Mademoiselle Gottsmeid at the gala. I did everything to keep you happy. It began with an infatuation, but turned into a relationship. So that's why you took it. You coward. That's why he went into her save. She Manipulated me from she used. I'll just keep it shut. Perhaps oh, not. yeah, I'm sure she manipulated she you with her life. vagina. I know you have a flair for it. And now. This is all going to make for some. Okay, what now, though? It all ends here. Borrow the penitent. And talk to everybody, though. Mademoiselle Goldsmith manipulated everyone. Here we go. But that does not excuse the fact. Pour out the murderer. Tell us of our suspects. All guilty in some form or other. Monsieur Christiansen. A lover. 
Gypsy that tossed aside Mademoiselle Warbeck. Another that was promised her heart only to become a saint. Monsieur Aylesworth. Bishop Mountjoy, a third, sold the idea of an a Mademoiselle Farquhar. All with motive, but lacking. Isn't that right? Mademoiselle Farquhar, our true relation to the deceased. Cousins, standing to inherit her entire family estate. Damn. You don't understand. It wasn't like that. You decided to poison her with potassium cyanide. A chemical often found in photography development, wearing an almost identical hat to the deceased. You were able to disguise yourself as her and be leaving her body lifeless in her own apartment. You tried to cover your involvement in both the forgeries and the murder by destroying any evidence. Incredibly clever. Did you really just praise her for starting a fire? Betty Allen, shut the fuck up. On the contrary, a timer was used, allowing for Mademoiselle Farquhar to be seen in her office as she slipped in and out of the dark room window. I didn't want to kill her. She gave you no choice. You planned a, a cousin that has controlled me for years. She held you captive? A no, of course, emotionally and fuck, I was a struggling critic. But she taught me. You were aware of her scheme? Not at first. Even when you did... There was always a reason I couldn't. And what money I did get, she would hold for me. I couldn't remain under her control and... Mademoiselle, all I see is... Detective she should have becoming the master, damn. Perhaps if the truth has been revealed. There is. If you think for a moment that the... Go on, then. What... <laughs> Me. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, detective, you've solved both the theft and murder. Finding the murderer and solving two thefts. Two thefts? You have forgotten Mademoiselle Farquhar's missing. Oh, of course. Do you think Miss Farquhar lied about going missing after all? Mademoiselle Farquhar is far from an honest woman. But if our motive was indeed to fake, she would surely not have left it lying where Mademoiselle Babagna claimed to have found it. Mademoiselle Babagna's motive is now clear. How she pulled off such a cunning theft still eludes me. Something Hastings said has my little grey cells fired up. Nothing is ever quite what it seems. I suppose we are all forgeries or counterfeits in some form or other. Could Mademoiselle Babania have pulled the wool over my arm? It is you that should be happy, Mademoiselle. You turned a stolen heirloom with a thief and a victim. A case of being in the right. I do not believe in coincidence. You were where you were meant to be, or been able to be within touching distance of so many. One thing I have learned during my time here in London is that people... What are you trying? That there are some that were... Uh, that perhaps, under different circumstances, I would have had the pleasure of meeting a different Mademoiselle Babania. Damn. Will you be leaving London now? 
There are a few small matters to settle before I leave. You really do believe? If you do not believe in the law. And everyone? I believe that we should be held accountable for our actions. Or you? And you, Manuel? There is nothing more for me here. Perchance, uh, but perhaps. I look forward to it, detective. Damn, so it was her. Well, uh, we, oui, monsieur. Most of the others, judging by the detective inspector's glare at Monsieur L and Bishop Mountjoy, once news. I was hoping at least Monsieur Hastings. You, I helped where I could. What you may not know, I would not go as far as that. Good thing I was around. I fear I shall. I'll maybe hold on to a great detective. Our new relationship. I have seen the benefit of friendship. Oh. Someone that shares an often alert detective quarrel and it does have a certain. Yay! Yeah. All right, that was Agatha Christie, her kill parole, the London case. Um, unfortunately, everyone um, is probably in jail or about to go to jail um, for their part in said crime, but. These little collectibles that I've collected throughout the whole entire game that you saw like the top right corner. Um, these are all, hello Perkins. Oh, I didn't visit the lonely dog, son of a bitch. That's the only one I missed, but they are like art. Artwork and all that fun stuff. Uh, I won't go through all of them, but yeah, that's been crazy. Um, this is over. Um, thank you so much for supporting this. My next Let's Play should be out really soon in time for um, Halloween season, spooky season. Um, I do have Mario Party Jamboree coming up later in October when it comes out. And before that, I'm still kind of going in between a couple of other Let's Plays I want to do for like Halloween time. Um, but I have everything up to date on my YouTube account. So if you want to go and look there, I everything should be up to date and things that are coming up things that are coming up soon or things that are current and i also have twitter i also have tiktok i mean i have everything um but i mostly keep things up to date on twitter and youtube so because i will not give out my facebook um with that being said have a great night please try not to commit any crimes and i will see everyone later have a great night